Will this Ender 3 benefit from this TL smoother? The answer is... As I predicted in my Ender 3 review, this 3D printer is becoming immensely popular. For under US $200, it represents amazing value for money. And although it's not perfect, you can't find much else that's gonna get close to it for that type of cash. My unit has continued to run reliably since my review, but there's no doubt it suffers from very slight surface artifacts. Now, according to my research and experience, the problem that you just saw is more prevalent on 24 volt printers, as well as being exacerbated by DRV 8825s to promoted drivers. The Ender 3, just like my Cocoon Create Touch, only has one of those in having 24 volts. I previously made a video where I outlined four ways to minimize surface artifacts, and I found by far the most effective to be the TL Smoother. These little things are probably one of the cheapest 3D printer upgrades you'll come across. They're passive components that plug in line between the stepper motor driver and the stepper motor. As their name suggests, they use eight diodes to smooth out the signal from the stepper motor driver to the stepper motor, reducing the noise that you see on your final prints. There's a link in the description to buy these, and they're cheap enough that I have a bunch sitting in my drawer, ready to test fit to any printers that I think might benefit it. If you're buying some, be aware of the ones that only have four diodes. The ones with eight diodes are meant to be much, much better. Given how easy they are to install, I thought it was well worthwhile in testing one to see if it could improve the print quality of my Ender 3. That's where this comes in. This is a two size Benchy. To make this video as accurate as possible, I printed one of these before and after with the exact same filament and the exact same G code. If we examine this up close, we can see that it's got two types of surface artifacts. On the round surfaces, there's some very light salmon skin effects, which in my opinion really isn't too bad. But on the vertical walls of the tower, we have this diagonal repeating pattern. So there's our baseline, let's get the TL smoother fitted. Our first step is to slowly slide the bed back and forward to access the three screws above the electronics tower. Set that aside without unplugging the fan. I used pliers to remove the hot glue that was holding in the factory extruder plug, and then I plugged in the lead for the TL smoother, and then the original extruder plug into the other side of that. Make sure you put the fan cover back on to stop debris from getting in during your printing, and then that's it. No firmware, no software changes needed at all. Now my comparison print had a little bit of a mishap. Well, the actual print was fine, but the trouble was my time lapse. Now I ran the first one of these overnight, so I didn't really pay attention to how long the print took. When I ran the second one, I started around the middle of the day, and as you saw, it printed for so long that the sun went down and kind of ruined the octolapse. But anyway, it was going pretty good up until that point. So what's the result? Well, they're identical. Check them out underneath the close camera. The exact same salmon skin effect is there, as well as the banding on the vertical layers. For me, TL smoothers are cheap enough and I use enough different printers that it's worth me keeping a couple on hand, but if you only own an Ender 3, my advice is to save your money. If you still want to buy a TL smoother for another printer that you're using, there is a link in the description below. But for this video, that's going to wrap it up. In terms of my future videos for the Ender 3, I have several more on the way. I've got some stepper motor dampers on the way to do a similar back-to-back -back test to this, but more importantly, I'm going to be testing two different automatic bed leveling systems, the BL Touch and the Easy ABL. Considering a lot of people are having trouble with warped beds, they are similar in price, so I'll be able to make a nice comparison so you know where to spend your hard-earned money. Thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, happy 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you like the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe, and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.